Ouch! Ow! Yow! Oops! Alfred, look! Alfred Hedgehog Detective. A detective plaque. Great idea. I know. How else are people going to find you? By checking the internet? Huh. True. But this has a personal touch. It'll work. Trust me. Me first! No, me! I want to tell them first. Now I'm going to speak first. No way! I am! Not in a million years. Whoa! What's going on? Me first. No, let me! Let me talk! No, you, no, let, you me let me talk! No, you let me! Quiet! Huh? Mm -hmm. That's better. Start from the top. Chloe, you go first. I couldn't sleep a wink last night. My tree disappeared. You mean your tree house disappeared? No, I said my tree, didn't I? All of it, gone, vanished, evaporated. The entire tree missing. I was... I was sleeping peacefully when all of a sudden there was this incredibly loud noise. Gosh, that's awful. That's me snoring. This is the noise. What about me, Alfred? What happened to you? I didn't sleep a wink last night. I was resting comfortably in the tall grass, being the outdoor kind of guy I am, when I started to dream about a horrible noise. But it wasn't a dream. Hello? A very big, mean, short-tempered moose is trying to sleep, so cut the racket! <sighs> Alfred, you've got to find out where that noise is coming from. I absolutely need my sleep, or I'll turn into a monster. Hmm, right. And you, Victor? What happened? Well, just as I was finishing preparing a delicious worm sandwich... It's a total disaster. Alfred, we have to find out where that water's coming from and find my dinner. <laughs> hey, back of the line. I was first. Oh, yeah? Hold it. Wait. I think we can solve all three mysteries at the same time. Good. As long as I'm first. What? No. Look, your three stories have some real similarities. You all heard a strange noise, and you all had a rotten sleep. All on the same night. That's more than just a coincidence. So we've got to find some clues. Pronto, we have three cases to solve. This is serious mysterious. <laughs> Stop. Who's going to stay with Lily? <laughs> hmm? Please, I want to come with you. Hmm, I have a better idea. Play leapfrog. Come on, please, please say yes. Let's play. Come on. That's where Chloe used to live. Incredible. Yeah, that's the smallest tree I've ever seen. It's not a tree. It's what's left of a tree. It's called a stump. It's called a stump. Nah, nah, nah. Wow, look. There! Mix in the wood! Let's take a closer look. Hmm. They look like teeth marks. You mean someone ate the tree? Like a monster? <gasps> what? That wasn't very nice. At least we have our first clue. Let's go to Winston's place now. And after this, we're going to have a pillow fight. Yay! <laughs> Isn't it nap time? No. I'm having way too much fun. Ah! <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! 
This is where I was sleeping. Or where I tried to sleep. <sighs> I can't hear a thing. Winston, do you remember what the noise sounded like? Absolutely. I can still hear it in my head. Could you make the noise for me? Milo, hit me. Me? Hit you? But... but why? Go ahead. I won't get mad. Harder! Huh? There! That's it! That's it exactly! Keep going! I need to record it! Got it! We have our second clue! Huh? Uh, Milo, you can stop now. Winston, nice. Come on, we gotta see Victor's house. Wow, Victor wasn't kidding. His whole house is underwater. Look, all he has left is. Whoops, uh, he has nothing left. Where's all the water coming from? There's never been a lake here. Aha, uh -huh. this will be perfect. Huh? Let's find out. Hmm. The stick is following the current in that direction. Which means the water originates from that direction. The river's over there. It must be overflowing. Mystery solved. But it hasn't rained. How could it overflow without rain? I love it when I'm right. There, our third clue. Now all we have to do is solve the mystery. I am completely lost. Chloe? Victor? We're back for clue review. Shh. They're sleeping. Let's recap. We found teeth marks on the stump. Then we have the repetitive tapping noises. And finally, the water that fluttered Victor's hole seems to be coming from the river. The river's here. And Victor's den is in the sunken area. Hmm. So the water must have come from this part of the river. But what would make it overflow? But it hasn't rained. Something's blocked the river and diverted the water. <gasps> oh, to do that, it must be something huge. Wait a second. We're looking for something or someone who can cause a river to overflow, make a tapping sound, and chew on trees. Hmm, mostly at night. Huh? 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 That's it! What? what? Everyone, follow me! What have you found, Alfred? There's the answer to the mysteries. Oh! A beaver dam! Built by our friend Oakley. Hey, that's my tree! That's the noise I heard. That's the water that swamped my house. Beavers build their dams at night. Hello, Oakley. Oh, hi there, Alfred. Look, I'm afraid you can't build your dam here. It's bothering everyone in the forest. Really? But I need the dam. The entrance to my home has to be underwater. Can't you build another one someplace else? Well, sure, I can build another one. I'm a beaver. We're builders. That's what we do. Where would you like me to build it? Far from here! Well then, I guess I better get to work. Thanks! Now my friends will be able to sleep in peace. Oh! <sighs> What are you doing, Alfred? Just finishing something. There! Oak 
quickly uses his teeth to cut down the trees to build his dam, just like other beavers. Often, the entrance to their homes is built underwater, so they'll be safe.